Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Dan here back again uh, for another film review. Five minutes or less, I'm, I'm shooting for here. This is for a film called Terminal Island from 1973, rated R, an hour and 28 minutes, directed by Stephanie Rothman. I became aware of this film after watching a video on the Newly Dead's channel. And I'm, I think I'm gonna swap out this chair with the one in my son's room. <laughs> this one squeaks a little bit too much. But anyway, <laughs> now that he's in Great Britain for a semester. But I became aware of this after Joel on the Newly Dead's channel unboxed some Vinegar Syndrome titles. So that if you wanna get the physical copy, check out the Vinegar Syndrome site to see how much it is. And after this review, maybe you can decide whether you wanna watch it or not. I, want, I did find it on YouTube. And the film is kind of interesting. It has a plot that's very reminiscent of some other films, kind of shot in an exploitation, lower budget exploitation style. And essentially the state of California has outlawed the death penalty. So now they just drop off uh, the worst of the worst uh, prisoners on an island to fend for themselves, kind of like Escape from New York and many other island based, uh, No Escape with Ray Liotta, you know, many other films have done something similar. And let's just go over the cast as I explain the, the plot. We begin, actually, it's the way they begin, it's very clever. They go around the streets and they interview people about it. Most people are like, yeah, the hell with them. Throw them on an island, you know. And then you have a couple of reporters who are doing a story. So they kind of go down a list. And they want some sensationalism. So they want some of the really bad, like, spree killers and things like that. So that's how they introduce a lot of the characters that we're going to meet. And then they say, what about this guy? Oh, Dr. Milford? But it's Tom Selleck. Oh, uh, well... He might not be, yeah, I guess he's, we'll put him on. He's kind of interesting. A lot of people say he kind of got railroaded. He had a patient die on the operating table and all this stuff. Uh, and then what about this guy? Oh, he, yeah, he killed somebody, but. It may have been a, uh, in self-defense, but oh well. What about this guy? What? Oh yeah, this guy's a psychopath. So that's how they introduce a lot of the characters. It's pretty clever. So then they drop off this woman named uh, Carmen, played by Ina Hartman, who's very good as sort of the, the main protagonist. We see everything through her eyes. Uh, now, she started her career on Bonanza and did a whole host of TV. She was on a show called Dan August for, I guess, the whole run of it, like a season of, of whatever that show is. And she, a lot of these actors really were active for about 10 years or so, and that's it, um, including her. But she's very good. So the Tom Stella character sees her on the beach, comes down. He's very narcissistic, kind of says, oh, you know, they're watching you. And watch out for this group over here. Well, she kind of wanders into their camp and... Uh, she sees a guy named Monk, played by Roger E. Mosley, from who, of course, would work with Tom Selleck on Magnum P.I. Uh, as T.C. Uh, he would be in the movie, mo such movies as uh, Unlawful Entry with Kurt Russell. And he was also in one of the great TV movies of the 70s called The Jericho Mile, uh, which is set in, in a uh, prison. And he's never looked bigger. He's huge in this. He's, so he's kind of like the, the main enforcer for the bad guy who's played uh, by Sean Kenny. His name's Bob. But he's appropriately psychotic, and, uh, you know, she basically is introduced to the group. She sees that there's some uh, women that they have working for them. They have to service a certain number of men each night, and the bad guys do have a, a sizable number of people with them. And this guy, Bobby, and his enforcers kind of just, you know, they, they dictate what everyone has to do for the day, and then they tell the women, you know, who they're going to see that night. Uh, so eventually, um, Carmen escapes, and she links up with the good guys, and the Tom Selleck character is kind of a, a loner, but he kind of links up with the good guys, too. And uh, let's just keep going and talk about some more of the bad guys here. You have a guy named Vander, who's played by Jim James Whitworth, okay, a.k.a. Big Jim. Uh, he played Jupiter in the original Hills Have Eyes, and he also played characters named Jig Big Jim in a movie called Sasqua about a Sasquatch in New Hampshire. I've got to see that. i got to check that out. And Black Angels, a motorcycle uh, gang thing. And, of course, he was also in uh, Planet of the Dinosaurs, which is a classic mystery science theater episode. Yeah, he was a big, big, rough-looking dude, uh, six foot five. And then there's a character named Finney. Now, he's played by Albert Cole, kind of a memorable-looking face. Uh, I remembered him immediately from The Incredible Two-Headed Transplant. He was one of the... Tra he was... The transplantee onto the the other guy uh now let's talk about the good guys the good guys are led by don marshall okay and i recognized him because he was in the other two-headed movie the thing with two heads with ray meland and rosie greer he wasn't one of the transplantees i think he was one of the transplanters he played a doctor in that movie and he was on uh i think it's land of the giants he was a regular on that 
uh, and, you know, did a whole host of uh, TV shows. There's another character named Easy, who's a country boy, who's, like, real good to have because he can make, like, bow and arrows. And at one point, the, the boat comes to drop people off, and, you know, they, they try to, to ambush it and get some firearms. And both sides now have firearms by the final confrontation. And they're like, hey, can you swim out to that boat? And he's like, can I swim like a fish? So, anyway... And the guys also have a guy named Cornell, who's a very large guy. He was played by an actor named Ford Clay, but this is his only appearance. <laughs> Eventually, there's a series of confrontations and fights. You know, the good guys are sort of like running and hiding. And they're pretty good. They're pretty some pretty good fight scenes in here. And they're realistic, too. You know, nobody's doing jump, spin, back kicks. They're, you know, they just pick up knives or whatever's around. And the bad guys will fight each other at the drop of the hat because they're all psychopaths. Um... <laughs> So eventually, there's a final confrontation, and uh, the bad guys, or the good guys, will try a few things that don't work, and then just try it again. You know, <laughs> a couple people will go down in a hail of bullets. You would think maybe like you wouldn't repeat the same plan of attack, but <laughs> anyway, it's pretty good. And there's a little bit of a, a surprise. One little surprise thing that happens at the end was one of the bad guys I thought was kind of interesting. I enjoyed this film. It's a lot of fun. It's an exploitation film. Selleck is good. Uh, it's great to see Roger E. e. Mosley in a role like this. Ina Hartman was very good, and Don Marshall was very good. Really, everybody did a good job in this. It was pretty. It was a well-made film, despite being a low budget and uh, of the exploitation uh, genre. Uh, have you seen this film? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. And I think I failed miserably trying to keep this under five minutes. Come back again next time. Thanks.